the most common question typed out. You're saying it's uh, they feel overwhelmed and uh, it's a lot of concepts. Right. Okay. So to begin with, okay. All right. Uh, to begin with, I'm giving you a toolbox in UTS. All right. UTS isn't a model. It's a toolbox of many different tools to allow you the ability to be an independent thinker, right? Which means you can use all the tools in different market conditions. You can use some tools in trending markets. You can use some tools in ranging markets, right? Different markets, different market profiles. And market profiling is the first thing you do when you open any chart, right? It's the reason why you can't have one model fits all, right? The same person who looks for one model fits all is the exact same person whose strategy helps, right? So knock it off. Think, think what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that there's a ranging market and it has a model and there's a, a trending market and it has its own model, right? That's what it all boils down to. Trending market turtle soup. Ranging market turtle soup. All right? So, uh, uh, stop forcing, uh, stop rushing results, right? Uh, it comes to understanding. Uh, dedication. Six. How about, how about this? If you're new, right? Uh, six hours a day, every day, for the next three to six months. You sit down and you uh, analyze the charts. Analyze every single daily candle. Um, one of the common causes of distraction to traders is multiple markets. If you really want to master a certain market, do you know that you have to predict every single daily candle beforehand, mark your observations before, during, after? Every single weekly candle before, during, after. Every single monthly candle before, during, after. So if you're doing this with 10 asset classes, of course you're going to be lost. Right? You can't focus. You need to have one market. Uh, preferably with three uh, correlated assets, right? So EU, DXY, GU, enough for a lifetime, right? ES and Q, and maybe the Dow, right? You don't need it. But find, a, uh, find three closely correlated markets and master them, right? Mas master trading one while using two others of confluences, right? Uh, a specialist is always more valuable than a, uh, a general practitioner in any field of life, right? Even in medicine, right? A neurosurgeon gets paid more than a, uh, a physician. Why? Because he knows more in one specific field, right? He's an expert. He knows the brain like the back of his hand. Uh, if you're a forex trader, then I should say, you know what? Uh, Adam... For example, Adam knows EU like the back of his hand. Edward knows gold like the back of his hand. He knows when the, the, the high of the day is going to form. He knows when the low of the day is going to form. He knows, uh, he knows how many points the manipulation is. He knows how many points the average distribution is. Right? He's a master of his market. Now, be honest, most of you, can I say that about you? Probably not, right? You just scan through 10 different charts looking for uh, a trade, right? Master one market. There's more than enough pips. There's hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars circulating each currency, and especially the large ones. Uh, and there's enough for you right, to make a living for the rest of your life. <laughs> So that's the answer. 
in summary, focus on one market and practice. Specialize. Next question, Adam. No, no, no. There's no one time frame. Time frames. What one market, one model turtle soup, right? Reversible turtle soup and continuation turtle soups. And you link the turtle soups to model number one, right? That's it. That's your job. All right. Um, uh, push this one, this question to the end. Next question. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, entry techniques. The entry technique, which I will promote to you, to most of you, uh, whether you're advanced, whether you're, you're a beginner, is model number one, right? It's the highest accuracy. It's the most, it's the simplest, right? And when blended with the correct turtle soups, it has also the highest risk to reward, right? So CRT blended with model number one, right? An example is right here in front of you. All right, so you have, uh, for example, you choose any CRT. Uh, which ones? Um, you can use the ones in the mentorship. Uh, the Monday Range CRT. Right, it's a, it's a very popular one, and it's 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 put there for a reason. Right, another one is the 5 a.m. candle uh, CRT on the four-hour time frame. <laughs> works right but the model is going to be mark the candle right daily four hour weekly wait for a turtle soup right and then you always find model number one don't force it just let it come to you the best trades will come to you right i'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this right you you see some trades they're so obvious and so quick and they go so smoothly you win you win it once, right? You wish you bet more. Uh, those are the trades you want to take, right? You don't want to force trades. So you have this, right? Old low. Stab into old low, right? Okay. There is no entry. You consider an entry, right? Untouched order block uh, under a low. FPG2, right? So you consider entry here. But the actual entry is triggered once you close above this one specific candle. That's normal, model number one. All right? This one specific candle is the entry. Target, 50%, and the opposing end of the range. Normally, it's going to hit the second target. All right? It's that simple. Model number one. If you only focus on this model till you die, uh, then uh, you're doing a great job. Right? I often have a saying, uh, which I don't say that much, which is, uh, if you only knew how to trade one thing, right? if there was only one strategy that ever existed, uh, then uh, you'd make money. I can send, because it's the only thing you know. Information overload is both a blessing and a curse. Right? So you have all the strategies at hand. You can simply Google them. Uh, so that's a blessing. The, the availability of information is a blessing. But it's also a curse because now you're distracted. Uh, you don't know what to focus on. Right? Focus on this. Turtle soup. Yeah, turtle soup. Uh, confirmed by model number one. Your risk, your risk is this candle, right? Risk the candle, stop loss of the candle, reward the range. And if there's a turtle soup that happened to this one specific candle, it's even better, right? And you'll find another one, you'll find a mini model number one inside here. That is 
where high risk to war trees come from. Inside here. Next question, Adam. Yes. My favorite model, my favorite model is model number one, right? Because uh, sometimes, you know, uh, its mere existence is usually in confluence with the higher time frame anyway, right? Because if the higher time frame is, was was bearish, then they'd never close above this candle, right? You can go back into your charts and check this out, right? So a turtle soup. Now, my entries is obviously going to be down here, right? In the mini model one, right? That's me. That's an advanced entry. Uh, forget about that, right? Focus on this model number one, close above. Then you have this as your entry, the high, stop loss, and target, right? Suffer some drawdown. Tough number bit. All right, but model number one. Every single candle is going to open, and, and this, this model, by the way, happens every single day, right? Uh, every single week, every single four-hour candle. This model exists, model number one. Price is always going to open, decline when bullish, stab into an old low, create this model, and rally. Price is always going to rally, right? So open, rally when bearish. Let's give an illustration. Why is it green? It's supposed to be green. All right. <clears throat> All right. So when you're bearish, then you're looking for price to rally using the if then principle, for example, open <clears throat> rally, old high with a thick up close candle, right? A lot of momentum, it's exciting everyone. And then they close below it and they dump, right? That's the move. You're trying to catch. All right. And back here, you'll have a previous candle, right? Nothing magical about the ranges, just a previous candle, because candles are ranges, right? You'll have a candle with a previous high, which was stabbed into, right? And this one picture is. A market maker model, quote unquote. Right? Bearish, this is going to happen. This one thick up close candle, turtle soup, and decline. Your entry is going to be here. As soon as they close, as soon as they close below this candle, you enter. Right? And my favorite entry, entry sequence is uh, the sequence, right? Entry one, turtle soup, from any higher time from key level. Back to this. Uh, entry one, turtle soup. Entry two, order block, right? All number one. And entry three is going to be a breaker or an OTE. Next question, Adam. Right, so they're losing money. Is that the question? So 
So the question is, uh, how to stop losing money? All right. Um, let me rephrase that question. Uh, how do I stop blowing my accounts? Right. So that's a good question. Right. Because as we know, most uh, traders, uh, ninety-five percent traders lose money. Right. You stop blowing your accounts by controlling your risk, right? If you're bleeding, then apply pressure to the area and stop it at once, right? Cut losers quick and let winners run, right? If you have a fixed percentage, and this is the topic in chapter six, uh, which is uploading right now, right? It's taken a while. Uh, but what chapter six? And chapter six should clarify uh, the answer to that question. Right? It's a very important chapter of uh, risk management. Uh, any other questions, Adam? All right. All right, those are, those are your questions, folks, compiled and asked. Um, now, I'll upload chapter six and seven. All right, chapter seven is shared, by the way, and uh, it's shared from uh, SOT, all right, uh, previous mentorship I had, all right, which is not open right now. Don't ask. Uh, maybe in the future, all right? But it's not open right now. Uh, chapter seven and six are uploading as we speak. Uh, and that marks the end of the live stream. I hope you found it insightful. Uh, I wish you good luck to trading. Uh, study for the exam on the 7th of May. Right? It's in a couple of days, I think. Yeah, you have five days left. Uh, maybe I'll extend it. Although I doubt. Right, the exam's the exam. So you have five days left to study the exam. Uh, top three, of course, will get a $100,000 account each. Study well. And they'll get a private group with me where I monitor their progress and see what happens. All right. Uh, wish you good luck. Good trading. Happy studying. And uh, see you on the 7th of May. All right. Can you uh, 